Hi folks, Jason Webster here. Thanks for joining us for another episode of Inside PTI. Hey, we are at the PTI farm in Pontiac, Illinois, and we're just wrapping up some of the last plots that we're planning for the 2025 planting season. And I thought I'd take a minute just to shut a couple of our research planters down and talk about planting depth. Now, for you folks that are gonna operate these planters, you're the guy sitting in the cab of that tractor operating this planter, you've gotta make the decision on every acre you farm, how deep you gonna plant the crop. And one of the things that we're doing at the PTI farm is we're generating some, some long-term data. What is the best planting depth for corn and soybeans based on conditions in the field? And one of the things I really like about the PTI farm is we are generating some long-term data, looking at differences from year to year with different planting uh, conditions and evaluating planting depth. Now, how do we change planting depth on the planter. Well, for a long time, for many years, decades, if you will, you've had to get out of that planter tractor, stop the planter, walk back behind the planter, find these T handles on the row unit and move them up and down to change your depth. Again, it's a manual adjustment. You've got to stop. You've got to come out here and adjust the planter. And a lot of times it just doesn't happen as often as it probably needs to. The other thing is I, I feel like we're kind of blind with depth. How do we measure where the moisture line is at? The only way we know this is to get out and dig. Again, stop this tractor and planter, dig and find out if you're actually placing seed in moisture. Okay, so one of the things I like to take to the field with me to check for depth is, is a, a seed digger. You can see this one, it's a precision planting seed digger and it's got a tape measure on it, if you will. So. I take two of them because what I like to do is dig in here, just with my hand, and try to find that seed. Here it is right here. Pull this back, so hopefully you can see that. I take one uh, seed digger and put it at the bottom of the seed. And then we'll use the other seed digger on top of the, of the seed wall, or the walls here of the trench. And you can see we're just a hair under two inches in plant depth. And this is probably the fairest way to do depth. I know everybody's probably got a uh, got their own way of, of doing depth checks, but this is probably the, the most consistent way of checking for depth. Now, this moisture line is pretty important as we're placing the seed in the trench. And, and one of the things that we're doing at the PTI farm is getting away from these T handles on the row unit to adjust depth and move to a more precise system that allows us to sense. It allows us to measure. And the neat thing about it is it allows us to react. One of the things we're doing at the PTI farm is we're getting rid of those T handles and we're moving to technology called smart depth. Smart depth replaces the T handle and it's an electric motor that I can adjust in the cab of the planter tractor on the 2020 monitor. With a simply a press of a button on the 2020, I can change depth automatically across the whole planter. If I wanna plant deeper, I can press a button and I can make this planter plant deeper. If I wanna go shallower, I can do that too. One of the things I really like about it is we can put side-by-side -side tests in with the press of a button. I can run this half of the planter a little deeper, this half a little shallower, and I can evaluate. I can take it to yield, and I can learn about planting depth based in, this, in the conditions that I planted in. And so I really like the ability, you know, the convenience of not having to stop the tractor, get out and move the T-handle. I can simply do it from the 2020, which I really enjoy. But the real powerful Part of this technology is Smart Depth can work with Smart Firmer. Now, Smart Firmer is an electronic seed firmer that can sense and measure. And one of the things that can sense and measure is soil moisture. And so why is that important? Well, if we can monitor where the moisture line is, we can then go to Smart Depth and say, move planting depth automatically to where that moisture line is in the field. We know our soils are variable. We've got changing conditions and, and the moisture line can change with those conditions. So it only makes sense that we would change depth with it. 
okay? So this has been some interesting uh, technology we're looking at at the farm. We're doing our manual planting depths and then we compare it to an automated setting. Let's take a look at the yield results. Let's start with corn. When we look at manual settings, an inch and three quarter has been that depth that has given us on average our highest yields over the time frame of 2021 to 2024. As we shallow up from that inch and three quarter, again manually, we lose 2.2 bushel at an inch and a half. And look what happens when we shallow up too much at only an inch. This is where we, we run the risk of placing seed in dry dirt. We're losing almost 18 bushel to the acre on average when we plant that shallow in an inch. And the reason we test an inch, we know it's too shallow, but you can either get the depth setting completely way too shallow or downforce could be a component of this. We've talked about this in other episodes of Inside PTI. If you don't have enough weight or downforce on this row unit, you're going to shallow up and that means depth is going to shallow up as well. And you can see when we go to an inch, it is some pretty, um, pretty high yield losses, close to 18 bushel to the acre. Now, we said inch and three quarters are best. What if we start going too deep? At two inches, we're losing 3.6 bushel. We go to two and a half, now we're up to eight bushel. We go to three inches and now we're over 21 bushel to the acre. So uh, putting corn in when we have too much moisture, putting it in at a deep level at three inches has cost us a considerable amount of yield. What about smart depth? When we go into automated mode, this has been interesting. We're within six bushel of that perfect manual depth of inch and three quarter. So here's what we're trying to do is you tell me where the moisture line is and then I'm going to move depth to be right under that line to ensure that every seed has enough moisture to get up out of the ground. So if we're planting in dry conditions, smart farmers telling us we've got a low amount of furrow moisture, I'm going to plant my corn deeper. Sometimes it may take three inches to get that seed into moisture, but that's the only way it's going to come up out of the ground. If I've got plenty of soil moisture, there's no reason to plant deep. I want that crop to come up as fast as possible so I don't have to plant it as deep. I can get by with the shallower setting. That's what we're trying to do with this system. What about soybeans? As we look at our manual depth settings, two inches in soybeans has given us the highest yield over the same time frame of 2021 to 2024. Two inches have given us the highest yield at 72 bushel to the acre. As we shallow up in soybeans, we're losing about a third of a bushel in an inch and a half, which isn't much, but look at that one inch. I think historically there's been a lot of growers that plant soybeans too shallow. And again, if we don't have the right down force, we shallow up a bit. Now we got beans potentially sitting in dry dirt or maybe just enough moisture to get them to swell, but then not enough moisture to get them out of the ground then. When we've shallowed up to an inch in our manual settings, we've lost 3.2 bushel to the acre. Quick math would say three bushel loss times $10 soybeans. That's a $30 an acre loss by not having our depth correct on soybeans. What about going, you know, going with smart depth and smart firmer going into automated mode, if you will. And soybeans, it's actually worked out really good. We've been within 0.4 bushel of our best manual setting at two inches. So we're right in the hunt going in automated mode, making sure we're getting every seed in the moisture to give it the best opportunity to get out of the ground as fast as possible. All right, so this is the preferred way of checking depth. Now uh, we'd like to do this on multiple rows across the planter just to make sure that we're, we're consistent. But it, it does remind me of a, of a story though. I'm up in Wisconsin doing a, an agronomy meeting with a group of farmers and um, we're talking about planting depth and, and how some folks say they measure planting depth by their second knuckle, which everybody gets kind of a kick out of. And during the meeting, this guy, gentleman raises his hand up and I said, yes, sir, you have a question? And he says, well, I just want to tell you that, that I'm a doctor. And I said, okay, you know, what's that got to do with anything? And especially about planting depth. And he says, well, as, an, as a doctor, I'm here to tell you that if you're made anatomically correct as a human being, your second knuckle should be two inches in length. And so at that meeting, I took a tape measure out. I'll use my, my seat finder that has a tape measure on it. My, you'll find that my second knuckle is in fact two inches. So 
Um, feels good that I'm made anatomically correct, but we've kind of made fun of folks in the past that have been using their second knuckle to, um, you know, use it as a depth gauge. But I guess uh, if you're made anatomically correct and your second knuckle weighs two inches, maybe it is a good guide. In the meantime, I think we'll see, we'll keep using the uh, seed finder method as a teaching tool here at the PTI's one.